Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored and with me once more is the green one. Yes, green bean. The greenest green of uh let's players and of ponies. Yes. Um yeah. Fun side note, I can now double jump. Which makes me so much more hipster than Mario. Oh, except you're not. I'm sorry, but Mario's better. It can Mario double jump and have a heart in his hand at the same time. No, but Mario can shoot fire out of his hand. Mind the hagfish. Look at this. And can Mario do that? Man. I don't know. He probably can. I mean, I Mario jumps like ten feet in the air. I can make. I actually don't know. It's like differs from game to game how high Mario can jump. So like some games, Mario can jump like ten feet in the air, and so you're you're like killing yourself with that. Yeah, I know. It, is there like a barracuda or something? The water's just like biting your ass every time you do that. It's a hagfish. Okay, hagfish. It's the same thing, I think. Except it's not. But you know, it's it's similar, right? It's just. When possessing a, a red, ass. you fit into smaller spaces than normally. D yeah. yeah. <laughs> I oversee a Campbell. I oversee, but he see a Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is close is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is a completely corrupt. Uh, yeah. Uh, Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the high overseer, steal Campbell's journey, and eliminate him. An ally to the loyalist Martin is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. Why do I, I keep seeing him like Campbell soup and it's like really weird. <laughs> mm, <laughs> Campbell soup. It's it's the tastiest of evil villains. <laughs> Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead in the plague. Half's fighting over what's mm. left. Oh, well, this is a pretty nice, you know, dark town, I guess. Yeah, it has a really nice dark atmosphere. Okay, now almost where I was last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh nom 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 healing potion. Yeah, well, more like red. Oh, it's red? Yeah, I was eating a red. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, Hagfish, stop eating me. Hagfish, why do you want our ass? Don't you don't you have enough other like fish ass to bite? Yes, exactly. Hey, what is it? Uh Secrets, which I already know. Bone champs provide a small supernatural benefit. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate up to three bone champs at once if the bone champ selection of the journey. Ah, uh, I like that. From the sounds of it, I always like like little power up things. Healthy appetite. I'm and guessing. That makes health items more effective. That's weird. I guess they are randomly generated. Okay, that was a bug before, because it said undefined, but now it actually tells me. Food here is in more, yeah. Um, last, yep. th they seem to be randomly generated, though. Wow, food here is me a ton. No. Ah, that's pretty sexy. <laughs> uh, what did it give you last time? Uh, it regenerated a uh, mana quick, more quickly. Mm, both are good. The mana might have been useful later on, but uh, th this this thing seems to be really useful. That's the only thing I find really weird in this game is how mana it works, because it's like you can use it and it regenerates, but it only regenerates to how much you used it last time. Yeah, yeah. So and you can't really if you keep weird. spamming it, you can't. Yeah, it's it's an interesting fash uh, way for it's it to a work. new way to do it. Yeah, but it just confuses me because it makes you afraid to ever use it. Really. Oh my god, another fucking song! Do you want me to sing it? Yes, because Queen okay. Bean is the singer. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can... Wait, no, I don't actually think this is a song. It's, it's poetry. It's, 
It's poetry. Okay. So Dang I'm it. not going to be the best at this like it was the other song, but it's fine. It's fine. Even though I wasn't the best. Yeah, I, I, whatever. She was shy in the month of hearths, hiding from my scented letters, a sun droppled cure from my loneliness. She was smiling in the month of rain, eating figs straight from the tree, a dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans to her sailor cousin from Colero, a shrill bird drilling at my chest, and, and incest is a thing, I guess. She was dying in the month of songs, struck by a disease from the east, a terrible kiss on her distant lips. Wow, that's really depressing, and it's involved incest. Hey, no wonder that guy died. He's like, too much for me to handle. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna roll off the cliff. America! Suck it, dead guy! Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. I'm gonna kinda follow what I did last time. Obviously, after four twice. I died like a billion times. Just running around, die, getting eaten by fish last time. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. It, it seems like the fish are real, like, assholes in this game. The, I've known other games like that, like the first Jack and Daxter game. Fish were the freaking worst in that game. Poor fish. Like, I was made to be terrible. What did they uh, ever do to us? I don't, I don't know. I've, I've, in real life, I don't really normally, in fact, in real life, fish aren't generally that hostile, but there are plenty of games Ow. that... Well then, don't double jump and teleport up where you break your legs. You have met your demise. Yeah, I guessed. <laughs> the demise of fish. I mean, falling to my death. Oh, damn it! I have not yet equipped the magic and magic. So that gave me like no HP, and now suddenly get like a billion HP. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't need to read that again. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Maybe I get something for act at least activating it. Man, that guy got his bow. <laughs> he does. Okay, um, do you have everything you need from up here? I think so. Okay. So, I say, once you get over here, you save. What? Well, you don't actually have to. I, I'm just one of those. I, I like a bit rather con constant saver in games. I'm like, oh, hey, I did something that I don't really feel like doing again. I'm gonna save. Which is a lot of things I don't feel like doing again. This is really easy stuff, though. The, that is true, it's not, it doesn't look like there's a ton of guards. We have this cool ass vision thing, which, uh, yeah. So now I've pretty much reached a place where I was last time almost. Cool. Yes, there are multiple ways you can go. I mentioned three ways you could go, I went this way. I actually just, I was totally lost, so I just went in a random direction. But I ended up going up here, because, why the hell would I not? And then this just random thing. <laughs> and then this dude just exploded, and you were like, the fuck, dude? Yeah, I had to do this multiple times, because, well, I, I feel my judgment was not unfair, but the game did not approve of what I did. Because there's this granny granny really weird woman down there, and I stabbed her, and the game was like, you're not allowed to do that. She's innocent. And I'm like, she doesn't oh. look innocent to me, she looks like a freaking demon. <laughs> granny rags. Look at her! <laughs> wow! She My looks pretty fucking messed up! <laughs> uh, I know she's supposed to be an old woman, and maybe she's supposed to be like, but fucking hell! That is creepy. Oh my my my! I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? 
Yeah. You know, this, is, this, is very, this is in the game very good, Vicky Keto. Because then I was just like, la 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 la. This is weird. La la la. And then it picks us up. Yeah, and then I'm Demon Guy shows up. <laughs> they call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? So yeah, at this point I was like, I do not like this old woman anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of got the story. I still personally probably wouldn't have killed her because now she's just an old crazy lady. I said she but was, I feel like I she's eating people. That, that was my my first idea was she was eating them, which is why totally out of nowhere. Yeah, cannibalism is doesn't seem to be what they're referring to. <clears throat> but um, yeah, what was I gonna say? In in, in any case, um. I wonder if she's important or if you're just not allowed to kill innocent people in this game. Wait, um, actually, the game didn't like break when I killed her, but the side quest died when I killed her. Oh, like, I lost, okay. I, I lost the side quest, and then I was like, meh. And then, then you're like, I, I don't really want to just like have the side quest not exist. I see. Yeah, yours. because I didn't actually talk to her. I just walked up. I actually, it wasn't even purposely. It was accident. I wanted to talk to her. But I was in sneak mode, and then I like press shift, and I just choked her, and then yes. it's like <laughs> she was really bad at me. She wouldn't talk to me anymore, and I was like, damn it. Well, you did try to kill her by accident. <laughs> I did that try to choke her out by accident. That's not that's not murder. <laughs> so yeah, and then the, the thing that I wanted is there's any way to not kill these guys. I could like stun them with sleep darts, but I kind of don't really feel like wasting my darts on this. So I'm probably just going to shoot them. I totally forgot to check on the knocking out people out method, but oh yeah, okay. I was gonna ask about getting behind them, and then there's a guy right freaking there. Yeah, the, the, the weird thing is, totally out of nowhere, but really weird. I actually had a dream about this scene that uh, because this is where I stopped playing. Like I opened the door and they sli sliced me apart. And I was like, oh well, I'm done. And I had a dream where I could like go upstairs and like jump down behind them, but I don't know if that's actually scientifically possible in this game. But I dreamed that I could do that. I know it's totally out of nowhere, but I did. It's really weird to dream about, but it looks like you can fucking do it. Uh, it's In fact, that I, I dream about how to assassinate people. It's very common. It, it just this game left a lot of an impression on me when I first played it because I was really creeped out at this point. Because <laughs> that woman did not please me. Oh. <laughs> I mean, not in that way, but I mean, that woman <laughs> <doesn't>. <laughs> you, you, you don't, you don't want her old lady <laughs> slips on your dick. Hey, hey, hey! I have not done anything. <laughs> I totally wasn't gonna like to <laughs> fucking knock you guys out. I was just watching. Um, in theory, uh, I mean, I should be able to just walk up to them and talk to them without them getting me. In in theory, can't you just like completely walk past them, or or do you just really want them? Like she wants me to have. Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, what the? It's a man. We don't like people. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is one of the few points in the game where you're actually supposed to kill people. Like, I'm sure there's a way to get around it, but I think if you want to do what you're supposed to do, you. I mean, I could knock them out. But I guess. But then they'd probably just come back and bother. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. It's like in CV, if I knock them out, that doesn't really do much. In, in theory, they're just like, the fuck was that shit? I guess we're gonna keep harassing the old lady. Oh, uh, yeah. Man it. Oh, well, they throw the explosive things, I see. Throw all the burning whale oils. Ah. Man, I'm terrible. That's because this is the first combat I've ever done really in this game. Yeah, it's the first major combat you've done, and you've said it's very hard, which yeah, it doesn't really give you much of a learning curve. I keep instantly accidentally using my blade instead of. Man, that shit does some damage. 
Zack mal dick, Bitch. America! Suck it! Gentleman callers? Wait, oh. Okay, that was the quest. I was like, these are just thugs. <laughs> I I was like, wait, we're just killing gentleman callers. I was like, wait, no, they're thugs. We're probably trying to kill the I old lady. The but the she left. thinks they're callers. You never listen. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen. Don't Granny me. has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even <laughs> grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. That sounds interesting. I wonder what it is. I want to say it's a new sword, but uh, I don't know. It's upstairs, she says. I'm hearing stuff. Really weird stuff. Like people whispering kind of shit? No, I think it's her doing her random work stuff. It's like, I don't know. It's like crunchy stuff. But I found the I found the rune. I hope you like the one okay. I got for you. It's the least I could do cool. for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children, ruffians, every last one of them, rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. This game's obsessed with you remember my doctor, dear? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Now Even rooms come from whales. Man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. <laughs> See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Side quest. Bonnie lives on Clavering Boulevard. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting side quest. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I found that hilarious. My birdies are hungry. Coo. Coo. Uh, woman. Yeah, so you should use your runes to become even more powerful. I think I only have one, but no. I thought you got, like, another one from the Overseer. He was like, here, have a rune. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I found that one, yeah. I can bend time. Or I can do other stuff. Well, bending time sounds pretty sexy, though. I think you should, of course, check what and all you can do before... Uh, oh. Bending time. <laughs> Okay, well, by bending time is pretty sexy, so that's fine. I mean, you know, really, I can't think of much better ta power than... Wow, that uses a fuck ton of mana. Oh shit, you don't even get it all back. That's but dumb. I can bend time. You can bend time, uh, so that's still pretty great. Uh, you can I use can... mana potions? Um... <laughs> Inventory. I... Actually, I do have an inventory. Oh, yeah, you do. So you can use mana potions Key and wings. health. Granny's front door, pop master room care, do not waste skate, see a key. Hmm. See, I see my keys after all. Oh, interesting. So, also, I just noticed something interesting, uh, which you may or may not find interesting, which is the health potions are that one guy's, um, they're they're both the different guys' elixirs. The solid yes. calls health. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the health elixir too. and yeah. I, I I think that's pretty neat. It's pretty uh, interesting. Can I um? Okay, T and R is in front. Hmm. All right. Nice. Okay, let's see. Quest wise, I guess 
That's why this game is longer when you don't watch it because there are side quests in a linear game, like half linear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of fascinating. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, th there there's side quests in plain linear games. Uh, at least games like this are sort of linear. Dunwall citizens. What are you saying? Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel Oh, there's two chickens in there. I see. <laughs> and he's like, oh, never mind, I guess. Okay. Anyways, I mean, I mean, it's always nice to have side quests, but still, I've played plenty of RPGs that are technically linear, but they're side quests. This is the ones that are looking like that. I wish I actually show objective marker. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh come we're on, not, dude. We're not here, douchebag. Don't make me kill you. I was trying to not. I, I'm trying to do a low chaos. One, so do not make me kill you. Uh, I'll he'll just like Ouch. kill you. Oh, oh, that looks unfortunate. I need to get some on the roofs. Hmm. Yeah, traveling by like roofs and stuff definitely. Look, this looks like one of those games that's really useful. Man, I'm enjoying the openness of this game. Yeah, the, the, that looks really great, I have to agree, like, you know, the fact that you can, like, go on all kinds of roofs and sh awesome shit like that. Hey, there's a thing even nearby. Oh, cool. There's a hoon. Is there there's also... a bone charm, 18 meters away. Okay. It also looks like there's some stuff on the table, but I yeah, guess... Yeah, no, I was kind of getting sidetracked. <laughs> okay. Man, that eating thing is useful as hell, because I, use, <laughs> I lose so much HP. Yeah. That's the one that we read. Before. Okay. A gaffer's tail! Fucking gaffers. You wanna read it? Timeless children! Fuck yeah, let's read some- oh wait, did you ask me if I want you to read it, or- I want to read it, question, to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I'll read it. They say that Jimmy Whitecomb Riley was a brawler. His mates called him Smiley. He ran around up and downtown, pulling off every kind of crimey. On Bottle Street, he hung with the boys, throwing- it's a pair, I it's moving around the thing! Ah. Messing me up, it's fine, it's fine. You're here. Throwing bricks and bottles and other toys. They'd start a fight, then run and hide, breaking and laughing far and wide. Smiley liked to eat and drink all day, and smash and bash the night away. Drunk and all alone, he drifted off a sleeping, sitting on the bridge along John Clavering. When he woke, something strange he found, stronger than a stinging wolfhound. He had become a blue-jawed hagfish, most smiley, and only remembered his name was Smiley. That they say that J Jimmy Whitecomb Riley was never seen again for all of timey, but he swam around up and down, drinking from the river, crying, why me? <laughs> I feel enlightened. Uh, what? I feel enlightened. <laughs> I feel so enlightened. God, that story. That story was so touching. God. It's entry. It's the first day of May of the month of the rain. Morris is sick and so are the children. I've avoided this thus far, which is good fortune since it's all fallen on me to care for them. Ninth century, the city watch comes and goes, knocking on doors and asking for signs of plague. Even our neighbors cannot be trusted. Earlier it was difficult to keep the children quiet, now they sleep most of the time. Tenth entry, the flies have set in. I try to keep them away, but I can barely get close. They stink so. 
Most of the time, Morbius won't answer when me when I try to talk to him from across the room. Eleven's envy, Morbius is gone, I don't know what I do. But now all my hope is re reserved for the children leaping the flat for a while near dawn. I found some plague bags from a guard was why no one was booth. Why no one was around. It took a while, but I got Morris into one of those bags. At least his face is covered. Twentieth entry. Where did other nine entries go? Anyway, twentieth <laughs> entry. Young Robert has passed. The star of my sky is gone. Page missing. Seventeenth entry. Oh no, wait, don't. I, I, th I, th yeah, I, th yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I read it as twentieth. It's twelfth. My bad. Oh, okay. I, I read it as twentieth, but it's twelfth. It both starts with a T. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, Alice stopped breathing in the middle of the night. She was such a headstrong girl. I can barely believe she is, was overcome. She was always near as I cut up hagfish or vegetables, arguing with me about everything. 18th century. It's the fourth day of the month of wind. It has settled in that that they are lost to me, all of them. I cannot bring myself to call the dead counter. 19th century. I have the fever now. No guards come near anymore. Man, this game is sad. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is a depressing game. game. Hey, throw throw her out the window, by the way. Yeah, America! No. What a depressing game, but I make it happier. I swung people. I, I I know. <laughs> we make it happier. Well they, they we make it happier and they make it happier. They don't make it much happier, but admittedly that story about Jimmy the Hag <laughs> It made everything worth it. Yeah, Jimmy the Hagfish was an amazing children's book. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I, I... When I had children, I would read it to them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If I had children, I would be like, Hey, kids, do you know the story of Jimmy the Hagfish? Well, then I'll tell you, if, if they say no. Look at uh, this. Uh, Brilliant. This game should have an invisible wall everywhere. Yeah, I know. I'm going invisible going to walls are dicks. And yes, I'm going to what this... What am huh? I even... Where am I even going? I don't know. And sure. I know that. Wait, that, that's the doctor guy. I'm trying to break in there. Yeah. There's different things you're trying to do. The thing is, I don't no, even know I... how big the map is, but it's big enough that I'm totally lost. <laughs> yeah, though, I kind of say. Wait, did you get that uh, bone thing? I remember there's a bone thing nearby where when we were oh, like, yeah, yeah, in that bad. building. Huh? My bad, I found. The thing is, okay. it's down. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to be careful because it's down on the level with actual people about and stuff. Actually, I think I have to go there anyway because there seem to be the sucks, and I mm. need to poison them, so I think I have to go back there anyway. Yeah. Man, that double jump is useful as hell. Yeah, I know. I I imagine that double jump jump, and then when you upgrade blink, is just gonna let you go like anywhere. All over the place. <laughs> Yeah. Do 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 I don't know. Do 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 do. This game clearly needs like a Star Wars beginning. That would just be amazing, you know. Even a new scene just for a side quest. I know I made it over positive. Okay, that's the same text, which is good. This game has almost too much text. <laughs> this for let's play. Uh, no, I, I don't think it does. I'm really liking the text. Um, Save, which we're gonna have to all. This is uh, pretty much what this game is like. It's like, um, I'm guessing you never played Thief, and you never played Thief 2. But there's uh, one really famous uh, mission in Thief 2, which is like, you have to go into a ginormous clock tower, but on the way to the clock tower, you have to go over rooftops. And the mission is pretty famous, at least under Steve players, it's probably the best mission in any of the games because it's like, give the ginormous watchtower, but just getting there is already a mission in its own because of how big the like, walkway yeah. there is. Because you can go in like any direction a bit. And this is pretty much the whole game, it seems like. Like, if yeah. every mission was that way, where you go to what you quest, but just the w getting to the quest is already a game in itself. <laughs> Yeah, let's steal those pistols. And, uh, yeah, I, I have to agree. Uh, that's pretty great. Uh, when you said Clock Tower, it made me think the game Clock Tower, even though those games are barely about Clock Towers. Like, it, it's an important plot point in both Clock Tower 1 and, I think, Clock Tower 2. 
But it's really funny to call it Clock Tower, because, um... You play the Clock Tower, and it's not until, like, the last... I don't know... The last 5 to 10% of the game, probably the last 5% of the game, maybe, you get to the Clock... No, it wasn't even that. You're in the Clock Tower for all about, like, 10 minutes. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, this, this clock tower is really not that relevant. Kind of. It's kind of relevant. Uh, oh my gosh, it's another maid! It is, isn't it? Wait, is it a maid? She looks like a maid. Okay. I mean, I would assume so. Wait, are they, are they going to the bed chambers for some fun? I couldn't really tell. I don't think so. God is going oh. upstairs, and there's upstairs is a bed chamber for some fun. How am I supposed to? I know the game is probably gonna pause when it, yeah. But it's like, I'm just gonna break into this house and then read a book <laughs> in the middle of it. <laughs> hey, hey, guards, just excuse me. I gotta, I gotta know how the story ends. <laughs> Except from Travel Con Travel Chronicle by Antoine So Good. It's that one douchebag again. <laughs> you yeah. know, the guy who gives us a health potion, or who at least made them. The men yeah. I set out with are uh, good sailors. The dope half of them have cut the teeth on the Roscavely pirate ships spawned. You're gonna read, I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, fine then. I'll just I'll read all the books. I, re I love reading the books. The Rascally pirate ships spawned the Sarkadon Archipelago. Or they were, I should say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliffs welcoming those who would visit the far continent as, as it is called. Sickness. Infighting poisoned by a school, or one would say a flock, of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, landing in the hundreds across the deck, pricking any they touch with toxic quills. Two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds. The quiet Tavanian navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes wide with terror. Few have crossed the ocean, and the distance in Pandasia is greater than most would imagine. More died climbing the cliffs, and now with both. A handful I stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is beyond them. And now their captain is dead too, stung <laughs> by something that resembled a prairie mole, but reacted with great up, up, whatever outrage when handled. So it falls on me to lead them. Man, wow. these guys are the best. <laughs> they, they are the best. Having gotten there, gotten got to Pandasia, and half their guy was fucking dead. No wonder none of the colonization stuff works. I like, I don't know. You, I don't know how you colonize when what? fucking most of your crew of all guys die before you get there. You gotta <laughs> don't make me fuck with you. Probably gonna have to fucking kill this guy. Uh, uh, that's the problem with switching weapons to watch. Okay. Yeah. This is a bad I idea. guess. Personally, if I was this guy, I would just pick up all the pistols and like dual wield them, and then every time I used a pistol, I just throw it away. Um, unless I wasn't in combat, you know. But when I am in combat, just swap pistols, because in this day and age, it'd be faster to get a new pistol than, uh, you know, in th this game's day and age, than actually... Ah. God damn these guys. <laughs> yeah, these guys assholes. There's actually quite a few guards, considering. Uh, they're, they're like, we don't like people in our mansion. It's not, it's Look at not that. A I'm uh, just gonna, you know, uh, just choke you out. There, uh, and I, you should, I, I would say you should totally throw him. Okay, that works. Said, what you even notice that? Huh? Sure, that's totally kosher. 
Yeah, he, he's he's totally not gonna die from like inhaling ash or anything. Wait, it's not to make murder. My guy could know better than that. How do I get <laughs> in there? Do I have to break those? Uh, you probably do. Yep. Oh, nice. That's that's pretty awesome. But I have to ask, why the hell is that just like on a shelf? Like, oh, these spring grazers are so nice. I just like to admire the way they this tear trap works. Well, I guess it's if you like guy uh, guy for mechanical stuff, and it's an interesting mechanism. I don't know. Why do people have guns on their shelves? Ah, that's <laughs> that's a good point. People do put up guns and swords and shit, so I guess why not traps? Dear Miss Ben, dear Miss Ben, when cleaning my study ass, that you constrain your efforts to greatly through the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain when attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. Oh my God! <laughs> it might be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, otherwise, I have to reconsider the term of your employment. It gets Dr. Galvano. Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count on me for the remainder next week, of course. Hmm. Alright. Totally gonna look at that bookshelf. <laughs> oh yeah, let's let's go check out the bookshelf. Just I, like I like that he goes like down when he goes under the stuff. Yeah, I, I, think I, I like that too. Take master. <laughs> oh yeah, just th throw all the shit into the fire. I'm sure he. I'm sure he doesn't need any of that. <laughs> uh, I I don't even know what was in that bottle that you just threw. So it was a red, but I'm not sure. Okay. I'm sure there should be nobody around here because unless it's a cleaning lady, in which case I'm fucked. And in which case I just say I'm God. And then she it, it it's it's fine. It's fine. The cleaning lady will probably see you and start running away to go get the guards, and you can just like choke her out. While she's running away. I don't, away. I don't know. I don't know cleaning. if that'll happen, but that should be the way it happens. <laughs> Okay, um, we got a few books to read. If if she's not smart enough to like yell as soon as she sees you, First, which she probably is, huh? Before we go read books, let's see what yeah, that yeah. says. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good. Point. Let's start with an audio. Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Oh, those foreign powers. <laughs> yeah. I totally knew what just happened there. Anyways, it's an empty bottle. That's pretty hype. Oh, look at that little dagger thing. That's pretty cool. Yes, uh, I... Let's end the part here and then start a new one. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Thank you for watching, everyone. And take care.